All right. All right. Yeah. To your left is a book called Pete the Cat. So, Violet. Pete the Cat. Wants you to read the very first story in the book. Okay, Mr. Ward's going to read. Are you already done it? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Ward's going to read Pete the Cat. Five minute book. Oh no, we can't last five minutes. Can no, we? No, the it's it's the first story is not five minutes. I don't oh, think. it's oh, it's got Maybe lots it's of a stories. Maybe it's a five minute story. Lots of stories. Which one do you want to read, Violet? Uh, Pick one like, out. I want Pete the Cat likes bananas. Pete the who? Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Yep. That's what we're gonna read. Okay. <laughs> that starts on page five. So let's find page five. Pete the Cat. If anybody wants to read along, it's Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Includes 12 Groovy Stories by James Dean. Okay. <clears throat> Pete the Cat loves bananas. He loves bananas because they are sweet and tasty. Plus, bananas are easy to peel. Pete can use his paws to peel a banana all by himself. <laughs> Good job, Pete. Good job. He's got big eyes, doesn't he? <laughs> okay, Pete also loves bananas because they are healthy. They give him lots of energy to do fun things like run in races and play games in the morning. Pete adds a banana to his cereal. Bananas taste great with kitty puffs and milk. Yum. Now, Pete is ready for a great day. You ever had kitty puffs? Nope, me neither. That sounds like cat food. <laughs> <laughs> but one day, Pete eats a bad banana. Ooh. Yeah. The banana is gross. The banana is mushy. The banana is yucky. Panda bear, get panda. in here. Hey, panda. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to have to get panda. See, this is why we know it's a trial run. Yeah, it's a trial run. Panda, come on, panda. you have to come. Come on, come get up here. Come, come on. Get in the picture, Panda. Get in the gum couch. Come on. Get yes, on. good boy. Sit. There we go. There, now we're all Sit right. Sit at attention. Now we're all right. Pete tells his mom, I will not eat bananas again, tells his mom. Ooh. Pete's mom tries to help. She bakes Pete's favorite banana bread. It's warm and fluffy, but Pete will not touch it. <laughs> What if it's yucky like the bad banana, said Pete. Yeah. Oh, he's crazy. Pete's mom keeps trying. She makes Pete a banana cream pie. <clears throat> Pete will not eat it. She makes Pete a big banana split. No thanks, said Pete. A banana split? Would you eat that? <laughs> Pete is still hungry for a snack. Pete tries a lemon. It is yellow like a banana. Maybe it will taste good like a banana, says Pete. He tastes it. Yuck, says Pete. Sour. What is it? Sour. Sour. Lemons are sour. Oh. I, I like sour. They're kind of yummy. Uh, kind of yummy? Okay. Pete. I, I don't like pickles. Hey, Pete tries a pickle. <laughs> it is long like a banana. Pete tastes it better. Pete says, but not as good as a banana. You nasty pickles. <laughs> Down to the pickles, right? <laughs> Yucky pickles. You yeah. don't eat them? You don't eat pickles? No? Oh, well, you'll change your mind someday. Pete tries an orange. Pete can peel it all by himself like a banana. Pete takes a bite. The orange is sweet, but it's not too juicy. It makes peas... Makes oh. Pete's paws very sticky. He don't like that. Yes. Pete sticky. tries. Sticky hands. Pete just keeps trying to find a new favorite snack. Pete tries fish, rice, plums, hot dogs, watermelon, <laughs> and his mom's nut bread. <laughs> nut Pete bread. eats them all. He is not hungry for snacks anymore. Pete is very full. Look at his stomach. He's heavy. One morning, Pete is getting ready for a big race. He is going to need lots of energy if he's going to win. He usually has a banana for breakfast before a big day, but not today. Look at his red tennis shoes. 
My goodness. Pete wonders what he should eat instead. A pickle? No, Pete doesn't eat a pickle for breakfast. A hot dog? <laughs> no, Pete just had a hot dog for dinner last night. A lemon? No, that's silly. Banana, please. Pete sees his friend Greg the monkey eating a banana. <laughs> that's all Pete wants. Bananas are yummy and healthy. Bananas are the best. Pete decides to give bananas another try. Do you have another banana, Pete asks. Of course, said Greg the monkey. Oh, wow, that's a nice monkey. Give him a banana. <sighs> Pete is nervous to eat the banana. He peels it slowly and looks at it closely. It is not brown. It is not mushy. Pete takes a teeny tiny bite. <laughs> it is a yummy banana. It's the best banana ever. Now Pete has lots of energy to run and run. Just as they approach the finish line, he runs a bit faster. Pete wins the race. Everyone cheers. Thanks for the banana, says Pete. Thanks for a great race, says Greg. And there he goes across the finish line. Yay! Panda, yay! Woo, Panda say yay! <laughs> That's a great little story, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's the story for tonight. We're coming up on Thanksgiving, we've got to find some Thanksgiving stories, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Say good night, everybody. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night, Panda. Oh, Panda, hop the <laughs>